It's Mike Floss. Y'all know what y'all watching, man. It's Crew Committee TV. Bang! I saw niggas do that on this is 50.com. Look like it's working. Take no orders, but I'm serving. I can't have below the surface. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm working. Floss. How you doing, sir? I'm good, man. We meet again. Yes. Second time yeah, at right the same now. place, but we're in a different location now. We're in the green room. Outside, we man. was outside last time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is around election time. You know what I'm saying? We're we're fast forwarded about I say a year. almost a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost about a year, man. You know what I'm saying? How you been, man? Man, blessed. Yeah. Blessed like a church kid. Indeed, indeed. Tell me about that journey. Like, a lot has happened since the last time we talked to you. Yeah, man. Oh, wow. Where do we even begin? It's, it's, it's interesting, man. I started um started producing. I started okay. just like... I think I just finally found found myself as an artist. I think I, I seen it come full circle. And now I feel like I can close my eyes and shoot the free throw. That's what's what's up, man. It's not so much a search as much as it is an action. That's what's up, man. I like that. I like that. And you can definitely hear it in the music. Tennessee uh, Daydreams. If you haven't got that yet, go ahead and get it. It's out on vinyl. You know what I'm saying? And he's signing copies, too. I am. Yeah, he's signing copies. I'm signing them, But he's still signing them. You know what I'm saying? Um, You have a knack for connecting people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Last time we were here, Elevate Nashville, if you weren't here at the show, probably one of the biggest shows that I've seen from a, a hip hop standpoint, R&B standpoint, come together. Where does that come from? You be able to, you know, bring people together uh, and, and unify people? Man, that's a good question. I'm not sure. I think for me, it's just about it's just about letting people hear what you think, man. Like, mm-hmm. I think people are so starved for, for honesty and, and, mm-hmm. and, and um just genuine people like it's human interaction man we like Mm -hmm. crave it but you don't really know that you want it until you get it right you get it you latch on to it so Mm -hmm. i think um i think that's just something i value so i just like to put myself you know in in the truest light whenever i have the opportunity dope dope man dope man i i got into the album Mm -hmm. tennessee jay's dreams especially when it you know dropped um love the interlude uh black wildflowers ah, okay take me through the inspiration for that song it's a short one mm-hmm. but it's a powerful one yeah so basically black wildflowers is a candlelight vigil for victims of police brutality okay so basically if you if you think about um obviously you would have to be completely like shut off from society to not know what's been going on mm-hmm. sometimes in regards to the struggle of black people in america but for me, it was more so about the visual, and it was more so about the the the, the ability to allow yourself to mourn mm-hmm. in a way that's also beautiful. You know okay. Like you know that things happen and it's bad, but we have these loved ones in our lives. We have these souls that we've crossed paths with mm-hmm. on Earth, and we see them drift away. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. but I want them to burn in, into into like into eternity i don't want them to just mm-hmm. like crumble and wilt so right i wrote the song black wildflowers because it's about like if you think about burning flowers and seeing the embers dispersed through the sky mm-hmm. until they no longer exist like that's the way i want people's lives to to happen i want these souls to burn as bright as they can until they mm-hmm. eventually burn out and move on into another dimension so that's what that interlude is but it's extremely simplified and um I didn't want to overwhelm people with a lot of words and a whole lot gotcha. of like rapping or whatever. I just want people to feel that emotion. I think it actually communicated that. Dope, process. dope. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. Very beautiful, man. Um, so anybody that's been paying attention to like what you've been doing um, for the first time, you know, it might be their introduction to you or even introduction to Nashville hip hop, and they're seeing you. Mm-hmm. In these different spaces, they're seeing you at Double XL. Yeah. They're seeing you at This Is Fifty. They're seeing you at uh, w- Sway in the Morning and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. I think that's really big, especially for you know younger guys right now and younger ladies right now trying to come up in the national music scene. So they may be seeing, man, I seen Mike Floss on Double XL. I've never, I've never seen a national artist. What, what does that mean? And how is important? How important is it um, when you're out? You know 
abroad from from Nashville that you represent Nashville in that way and what it means to people back home. Man, for me, it's about it's it's really about like I think it's fashionable right now to just hate everything that came before you. Mm-hmm. And my parents just didn't raise me that way. My parents mm-hmm. raised me to respect everything from 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 Harriet Tubman to mm-hmm. you know Barack Obama and right. whatever is present you know from the past to the present now i just always had a respect for ogs like that's Mm -hmm. that's what i want to be eventually right like you see these people that are immortalized Mm -hmm. whether it's you know pimp c or Mm -hmm. whoever it may be you see these people that are immortalized in time for what they did for culture and that's Mm -hmm. just who i want to be that's who i emulate and that's who i look up to that's real so whatever i can do to to go that path is what i'm gonna do so i just show love man it's just it's Nothing nobody does takes away from anything that I do. Every mm-hmm. Nashville artist that does something good, that gets light, it makes me look better because mm-hmm. I'm from here too. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's like we all in this thing together whether we want to be or not. Right. So it only makes sense for us to just try to like all do the best we each possibly can mm-hmm. and uplift each other. It's just it's just common logic to me. It's nothing deep. It's nothing like – it's nothing brilliant or genius. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just logical to me. And that's what I do, and I make sure that – um. I put Nashville in the best possible light whenever I can. Man, that's dope, man. Yeah. That's dope, man. You're, you're definitely representing the city in the right way, in a positive way. So I definitely appreciate that, man. Um, Cotton Candy Skies, mm-hmm. another one of my favorites um, on the project. Yeah. Um, you like a lot of the ones I produce. That's tight. So you produce these ones I produce specifically. Black Wildflowers. Okay. And I produce... Uh, a significant portion of Cotton Candy Sky. Well, well, maybe I can get some production from you then, sir. <laughs> I, because I definitely like those. Um, Cotton Candy Skies, um, you say a line, you're getting attention, but money ain't really showing yet. Mm-hmm. Unpack that for me, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people see you, they see you, you know, performing at Exit In, they see on oh, This Is 50, Double XL, mm-hmm. you know, you're getting the attention and things like that, but it's still a grind as an independent artist. Oh yeah, hip hop is smoke and mirrors. Like a lot of a lot of what hip hop is is a stepping stone to a greater like financial mm-hmm. platform, whether it's film or um, uh, technology or mm-hmm. whatever it is. Sometimes for people it's fashion. Fashion is a tough game, but for mm-hmm. some people they turn it into profit. Right. But I mean. The money is not really in the music anymore. It's about mm-hmm. your live performance. It's about mm-hmm. your merchandise. And it's about your ability to move people in one direction or the next. Mm-hmm. So until you really have that arm of your career strong, like you can get, look, it takes 1,500 streams to get a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Gems. So, <laughs> Gems. So like, Gems. That's it. That's, that's, that's what it is. It's like to get one sale. 1500 strings for a single it's 150 for album is 1500 just assuming that 10 songs is on the album gems y'all so, gonna have to start paying us for these man <laughs> for real for so, real so it's like the numbers look cool you got mm-hmm. 600,000 a million on this whatever whatever it looks good it lets you know that people are listening it lets you know people like the music you got mm-hmm. the attention but there ain't no money in it you know you ever seen you ever seen a check for a tenth of a penny I, I haven't. What I does can't that say even him. mean? What does you know that what even like, mean? I don't even know what that means. It's crazy, but that's the way that this game is set up. And fortunately, it is. it does add up over time. Mm-hmm. But it's like at the end of the day, I can't do nothing with a tenth of a penny. And that's what you're getting, mm-hmm. you know, after you get 40 streams. So I do this for more than the money. I do this absolutely as a business-minded individual i do this in the best possible business fashion Mm -hmm. but this is just who i am i feel like without this i have no purpose on life in life i'm saying i feel like without this it's really no reason for me to continue Mm -hmm. so it just makes sense for me to keep doing this that's real that's real man that's real man i appreciate those gems man because a lot of people don't know they see the glitz and glamour they see the you know all all that good stuff you see on stage it's 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 smoking mirrors man it's smoking mirrors man what is the biggest challenge as an independent artist? Mm. <laughs> money. Like, mm-hmm. it, it takes a certain amount of money to do certain things. There's no way around it. Mm-hmm. Like, people can tell you, oh, I did this independently, but yeah, but who was you funded by independently? You know what I'm saying? Because that, even then, who cut e- the check? even then, like what you just said there, yeah. is like independent. The definition of independence is like you did it on your own, but if somebody's funding you, yeah, it's, it depends. It depends mm-hmm. on your definition. For some people, independent means I don't have a major 
label right. record deal. Right. For other people, it means I don't have any money at all. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like for it, it, it's, it's a very um. It's a buzzword right it's a fl- now. It's a fluent thing. And yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no yeah. true definition for it. Right. And I think at the end of the day, you can't hate on people that have major label record deals either because they were once independent. Right. And That's true. There was a time in which they didn't have it. So, I mean, unless they completely got, like, the country music artists, how they do, how they just completely grab somebody's kid and package them and put them on tour instantly when they're 17. Like, that's different. In hip-hop, it doesn't work that way. Right. Because most of the time, labels don't invest that type of money into you unless you're going to have your own fan base. Right. But as an independent artist, man, what what it means to me is that I just have so much creative control. I have to exercise it. I get to make songs like Cotton Candy Sky with no rules. Right. You know, mm-hmm. without anybody saying like, yo, this is never going to work. Right mm-hmm. Or without somebody saying, how do we sell this or who do we sell this to? I get to make music that I feel and I connect to emotionally without anybody asking me a question. And I can put it out because I believe in it. That's real. So as long as I can continue to do that, I'm going to keep doing it. And a time is going to come where I may not have those freedoms or a time may come where I have to fight for that more. But right now, it's easy. That's real. Yeah. That's real. Independence, man, is, is important. Yeah. What's next for Mike Floss, man? Uh, the CKDO mixtape. Okay. That's going crazy. Um, very player vibes. It's going to it's gonna be so – it's going gonna, it's gonna to be crazy when we okay. put it out. Um, okay. I'm putting some more music out. I'm, I'm making beats. Um, just continuing to spread this album around, though. Like okay. The album is still pretty new, especially on a national scale. Like I've had a few good looks, like you said, mm-hmm. but it still it still needs to get into the right hands. So I'm just continuing to push this music. Got the Sasha video getting ready to come out. Dope, dope. I'm trying to figure out what video I'm gonna shoot next. Is I got a few. In Can mind. I make a suggestion? What's the suggestion? So, I mean. Uh, <laughs> Candy Sky, man. <laughs> I mean, why not? Why, why not? That's you the know? dope one. Jimmy Wave. Jimmy Wave would be nice, too. I've got a fire concept for Jimmy Wave. Right. Um, serving All Night is a fan That's fan. another one. That I've seen a lot of... I've seen I've Some. seen a lot of people like talk about serving all night. I, yeah. I think I've seen a write up on Double XL. They yeah. they they featured that one. You that know what I'm saying? Seems to be the one people feel like can go. Right. So that might be the smart move. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned. Crew Committee TV. Yeah. Find out next. Tell them where they can find you at on social media, man. Uh, at Mike Floss Music. That's every social media platform, MikeFloss.com. You can shop there. Cop some vinyl, man. Buy some. Yeah, man. Support. Support, man. Definitely, man. Well, I appreciate you, man. Thank you, bro. Second time around. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Third Hopefully, time coming soon. Third time coming soon. Yeah. You never know. If you want to find out his music, you can look in the link in the bio below. You know what I'm saying? Is that where you're going to put it? I'm going to put it there. You're going to put it here? Like, right below there. You know what I'm saying? This is getting awkward. It is. It is. It's all in the <laughs> the YouTube uh, world. You know what I'm saying? But um, follow us on social media. Follow Mike Floss, MikeFloss.com. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Exit In. Uh, shout out I to say, all the... bro, wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up. <laughs> he said wrap it up. He said Crew wrap Mini it up. TV, Mike Floss. We out of here. We out, man. <laughs>